This presentation was prepared by PolarX Limited, an ASX listed explorer and developer whose main asset is the Alaska Range project, where extensive copper and copper gold mineralization has been discovered in an emerging mineral district. The company is about to commence a 5,000 meter drilling program aimed at substantially increasing the size of the resource at the high grade Zackley copper gold deposit, both a long strike and down dip. This video explains the drilling program and why we believe there is potential for a much larger porphyry copper gold deposit on this project. Before we do this, we draw your attention to this disclaimer and the fact that during this presentation there may be forward looking statements. There can be no assurance that these statements will prove to be accurate and you are therefore advised to seek independent professional advice prior to making any investment decision. Mineralization at the Zackley Scarn deposit occurs over approximately three kilometer strike length and has been identified in drilling conducted since the early 1980s. The blue outline here represents the extent of the known mineralization from this drilling. As you will see, the drilling in the eastern part of the deposit is extremely shallow and this has not yet been put into a resource category. Drill holes have been assayed for both copper and for gold and the current resource block model is shown here. Again, note the lack of resource modeling in the eastern part of the deposit and the lack of depth extent to this due to only shallow drilling across most of the deposit. Further drilling is about to be undertaken at this project, comprising 23 holes for 5,000 meters, aimed at extending the deposit both down dip and the long strike, with further holes planned dependent upon success of the initial program. The goal here is to substantially increase the size of the known copper gold mineralization at Zackley. The mineralization style at Zackley is known as a SCARN, which is a type of high grade deposit found in close association with much larger porphyry copper gold deposits. Bingham Canyon in Utah is an excellent example of a porphyry deposit. Bingham contains over 3 billion tonnes of copper gold ore at an average grade of 1% copper equivalent. And this porphyry is surrounded by multiple higher grade SCARN deposits. Porphyry copper gold systems are well understood. They form below volcanoes in long lived belts such as the Pacific Rim of Fire, host to many of today's major copper mines. The Alaska Range project, shown here in the Magenta Star, occurs in the northern part of the Pacific Rim during an earlier phase of volcanism which formed between 100 and 140 million years ago. The Alaska Range project, which hosts Ackley, occurs in the same belt that hosts the supergiant 11 billion tonne pebble porphyry copper deposit, along with numerous other deposits in Alaska and Canada. Our project occurs on a major break between this porphyry province and the world-class Tintino gold belt to the north, and contains intrusions of the right age to host porphyry mineralization. Porphyry deposits and related SCARN and epithermal deposits have characteristic textures and mineral assemblages as seen in these photos. Recognition of these can help geologists identify where they lie within the system, potentially leading them to higher grade mineralization or larger porphyry deposits. SCARN mineralization in the bottom left and epithermal mineralization in the bottom right form where escaping fluids from the porphyry system react with the surrounding country rock. These often occur along faults, which have allowed the fluids to move from the porphyry into the surrounding rock. The mineralization at Zackley occurs on a well-developed west-northwest trending fault. At each end of this fault are magnetic anomalies, which have the characteristic donut signature, comprising a magnetic high surrounded by a magnetic low, which is characteristic of many intrusions hosting porphyry deposits. We also see very strong and extensive copper and gold anomalism in soil sampling. The Mars Prospect has very strong copper and gold anomalism associated with the magnetic high and is a very high priority target for drilling. The Zackley Southeast magnetic anomaly is also high priority due to its proximity to Zackley, and the lack of copper gold anomalism here is not a deterrent 
uh, as this magnetic anomaly is buried under transported cover and is thus blind. The presence of multiple intrusions and widespread copper gold anomalism indicates that a new mineral province may have been discovered, with the Zackley deposit being the smoking gun. We hope you found this presentation informative. There is more information on the company and its projects on the website www.polarx.com.au or feel free to contact either Mark Bojan Jack or Fraser Taviat.